Hey folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to the Guild of Dungeoneering. When we last left off, we finished up our Sand Fortress adventure and expanded our guild, got a little bit more loot that we can find on our adventures here. And now we have a choice to make. We need to go either do more pirate stuff, or we need to do jungle stuff. Snakes on a plane, double trouble, and all mixed up. Why don't we, um, why don't we try this double trouble one again? We'll come back, we're just coming back to the jungle just to mix it up a bit and, uh, give the, uh, the piratiness a break for, for a little bit here. But let's try, uh, let's try this one. Let's take a, let's bring a drunken sailor into, uh, double trouble here. So we're going into the, into the jungle in search of treasure. All right, so we got some enemies we haven't seen in quite a while out here. Jungle Shaman, he's a leader. We have to defeat two of them. Okay, I think we can probably swing that. Maybe you want to go around this way, though. I don't want to go straight to him. And what do we want to fight? Probably a leggy spider because they're frail. I think that's our best bet here. Okay, what you got? What you got? He's got a uh, he's got a spider bite. I think we'll fall over and block that. And then a venomous bite we can't do anything about, so we're just gonna have to take that one on the chin. Acid spit hurts a lot. I gotta be honest. So we're gonna squinty eye again, and he's going to spook us. And I think we're gonna die here. <laughs> it seems likely. Because uh, I don't think we have enough damage to get through, but we'll uh, we'll do our best here. Not quite, but we do have rum. I forgot all about the rum, uh, and he's only got a drain, so we are in fact going to win this. I think. Only just. Ooh, it was a little scary. A little scary to to start off with. Wooden stool, a bandana, or a straight jacket. I think probably we'll take the bandana for now. I don't think it's going to help us much against the, the jungle shaman, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll help us against some of the enemies leading up to them, I think. I guess we'll fight a lizard man, we may as well. And I don't want to, uh, like I said, I don't want to go straight to them, so I'm actually going to start maybe like building off in the other direction here. It's a good fountain. I don't know combustion is a terrible fountain. Fountain of Heroism is good if we can get... We may use that on one of the jungle, uh, one of the jungle shamans if we can, if we can get a card that'll actually block uh, magic damage. Because I'm pretty sure they are going to have pretty like almost exclusively magic damage. Go ahead and squinty eye. Ooh, that pummel hurts, but we can block that thankfully. Restores. There's nothing we can do about a restore. Um. The squinty eye again, I think. It's unfortunate because that's a lot of HP he just got, but now we're gonna have to come after him in earnest, I think, here. Too bad he got rid of that reckless swing because we could have used it. Oh, jeez, come on now. Now you're just being unreasonable. Um, I'm not going to uh, reckless swing yet. Let's see what he has. Yeah, he's got a beat, so that's gonna allow us to uh, get our rum back. We're HP back by our rum. He's only got a claw, so I think we win. Barely again. <laughs> Excellent. All right, spiky hats, occultist hood. That might be better for us. Or a scimitar. I think I'm going to take the uh, the cultist hood. We've got our fountain here, and we can certainly put. Uh, that there, is this going to be a, uh... Oh, we can't put that there, right. Mm. I guess we won't, we just won't put that down. Um, we don't, we only have to defeat two of these guys, so we can actually just put one... Oh, yeah, we could put one right there and that would be acceptable. Or we could put one down there instead. Right down there. What if we put one down there? No, we won't go there. What if we put... Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave him there for now. See if we can get some gold and lure... Yeah, lure her back down this way. 
Yeah, there we go. Because this one's going to be a little bit easier to kill. And then we can get another one and uh, put him down there. And we'll, uh, we'll be able to, to take these guys out much, much easier. Okay, hopefully we have enough cards. I didn't take that into account exactly, but uh, I think we might. Well, we only have one card now that I think about it. Hopefully we have enough, uh, we have enough cards nonetheless to, uh, to take care of this guy. Fiery weapon. Yeah, we can, uh, we can block some of this at least with a smite and get some HP for that so we won't lose any HP. And then a flare we can't do anything about. Let's just uh, squint the eye here. Chaos, again, can't do much about it. Um, we could block, though, a little bit of it. We'll get uh, a lot of HP back for that. And then I think probably another uh, squinty eye. Pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna win this one. Like maybe even right now. I'm not sure exactly how much damage we have. Yeah, just enough. <laughs> Excellent. All right, wooden shield is okay, but probably you want a uh, maybe a conch instead. Let's take the conch. Seems all right to me. And uh, oh, geez, another one. Well, I guess we're just going to go fight this guy, and hopefully it works out for us. We've defeated one so far. Okay, Black Strike. That's pretty uh, pretty brutal to open up with, so I think we'll just squint the eye. Squint the eye again. And uh, go to town. Couldn't quite kill him, but uh, this will. Just barely, but it will. I think we're going to win after this, right? Yeah. Easily done. Okay, well, Eden Eden, he's ganging up on you. Let's uh, enter the dungeon. Let's bring somebody else. Let's try, uh, let's go back to our shapeshifter. Actually, let's, uh, let's do the ranger. Let's try a ranger. And, uh, see if we can finish this adventure up in this episode. All right. I'm going to eat your arms. I'm going to eat your legs. Okay. So he attacks in six turns. We should be able to get both of these, I think. Both of these chests, they seem pretty good. And turn and see how we do. These guys are predictable, which is nice. Might as well start off with a uh, little bit of camouflage. Lunge is uh, a bit nastier, though. We can camo that drain, which is nice, so... Looking forward to that. There we go, and I think we're going to kill him next turn, because we have, we have just enough damage saved up. Where they, uh... Steelhead arrow here. Perfect. Good start. Good start. Ruffled shirt, leather bound tome, or a barrel. I'm gonna take the ruffled shirt. And I'm thinking, let's take a look at this guy. He's uh got demonic two, stupidity one, rage three, and he's sluggish. Enemy blocks are twice as effective. Yeah, I think Rangers may be a good choice here. Shapeshifter probably would have been alright as well. Alright, what do we want to fight? I guess a poisonous snake. A poisonous snake and uh, then we'll put that guy down there and see if we can get some higher level monsters maybe this could be a little bit of a tougher fight sorry for the shift though since it gives us a little bit of extra damage and another card neurotoxin yeah there we go block that for sure can't block that though so we'll just uh, flame arrow I think And restore, we will absolutely block that restore. That that could have been critical if we can't, if we couldn't block that. And I think we can. Uh, oh, jeez, we can almost kill him. Oh no, we can kill him. Yeah, right here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Daisy chain's not bad. Mail quaff, definitely not going to take that. I will take a crossbow though. That's very very ragery weapon to have, I think. And then here we get heater shield, bone helmet, or the war horn. Kind of don't like any of these that much, but I'll take the heater shield. 
just for the plus one HP, and it does give us the uh, the Flame Lash as a quick card. I guess we may as well fight another Poisonous Snake. I'd like to fight one level three monster, though, just to, uh, just to, you know, get us to a high enough level to hopefully kill the Sentin without too much worry. Happily block that, of course. And now we can start uh, doing our Ranger thing here a little bit more urgently. Spider Bite. Flame Arrow, I think, is fine. And now, we only get extra damage on physical quick cards, I believe. Yes. Okay, so good to know. But uh, this will be enough to kill him. Perfect. What do we got? Scroll of Souls, pretty good. Corset, uh, pretty good. But unfortunately, I think I'm going to just take some gold. I don't think any of those are quite good enough. Put a gold pouch there and uh, another poison snake. Uh, let's do a let's do a man-eating plant, I guess, and mix it up a little bit here. We will get to this other chest, but I'm, I'm really like concerned that we haven't found a level three monster to fight yet. He's going to start off with one of those. I think we'll just fire blast. Acid spit. We can uh, we can block some of that. How do we want to block it? Is a better question. I think we'll do an interrupt though. Venomous Bite, uh, Flame Arrow, and then we can probably kill him with a Flame Lash, I think. We'll see. Yep, no problem. Can still use a hat. Ask him, ye shall receive. Do we want a Fez or would we want a Daisy Chain? Probably take a Fez, I guess. More card draw and uh, the other stuff is okay. Here we go. We want an owl bear or a dire scorpion? Nature 2, Burly 2, and Bulwark. I think I would rather. Probably rather fight an owl bear. We'll just end our turn here. And that should probably do it. We might fight one more enemy before uh, we fight the Etten. We'll see. Oh, jeez. That hurts a lot, actually. I'm not going to block it, though. Just going to hit him. I think he's got better cards to block, like a, a head bash or something. Well, all right, now I think I am going to block it. <laughs> a little bit of it. Lunge. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, is going to be painful, but I, there's still hope for us to win here. In fact, uh, we don't quite have it, but I think we're going to win. I think we are going to win. I'm going to do a shift here. And he's going to hit us for three. But we have an unblockable physical card, just like so. Very close fight there, actually. Owl Familiar is pretty okay. Pretty, uh, pretty okay. The spear is the same as what we got, pretty much. The red mail is good, but not, uh, not good enough. Horned Helm gives us Fury and Slice. Mariner's Medallion is, uh, plus one to all healing, but we don't really have any of that. I think I'm gonna actually take the Horned Hat here for, uh, for the Fury. All right. Put some gold there, and uh, do we want to fight one more enemy? I don't think we need to fight any more enemies. I think we're just going to fight the Etten and uh, hope that it goes well for us. All right. Here we go. It's got a lot of HP. We didn't get any blocking cards, which makes me a little bit, a little bit concerned right off the bat here. Sweeping Blast. We can actually block that, though. Perfect. Lunge. We cannot block. Um, I think I'm going to do a Flame Lash here, actually. It's a close fight. It's a very close fight. It makes me a little bit nervous. We'll take that. Block as much as we can. Oh my goodness, that Thrash. That's so much damage. Um, we're going to have to try and out-damage him, though, somehow. I guess I'm going to Flame Arrow uh, for this one. We might have this. We do have this. Only just barely again, but man. This is really bringing it home. 
MVP Dungeoneer right here. It's a lot of gold too. Man, that's puts us really close to actually getting another uh, another thing of uh, for for our uh, our guild here, but not quite. We also have a new trophy to check out, I suppose. Head and, <laughs> head and head and shoulders, yeah, that seems appropriate. Head and shampoo. All right, cool. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. When we come back, we'll probably go back to doing pirate stuff. Just wanted to take a little, like I said, a little diversion back to the jungle, just for, for kicks to mix it up a bit. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. So until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.